Hello, this is Greg Berg with the weekly conservation update from the Conservation Office in Waite Park. And maybe not so much the conservation in Waite Park since we're working remotely as most of you have probably found out. We are still available with uh, phone calls and emails and that sort of communication, so feel free to reach out to us with uh, your conservation questions. First thing I wanted to talk to you about was the drop-off of unused pesticides and herbicides. Uh, the Stearns County just put out a notice and those pesticides and herbicides can be dropped off free at the Household Hazardous Waste Facility, which is at 3601 5th Street South in Waite Park. And they have some directions with the COVID-19 deal going on. You're to use the drive through and don't get out of your vehicle. And you can also check for mobile collection sites near your location as they come up. If you have any questions, you can contact them at 320-257-8600 or hhwsw at co.stearns.mn.us. Again, this is the drop-off of unused pesticides and herbicides for free at the Household Hazardous Waste Facility. And again, the address is 3601 5th Street South in Waite Park. Next thing I wanted to talk to you about was there are many different watershed initiatives and planning efforts going on in the area. Uh, we are working with the Upper Mississippi River St. Cloud and what's called the Watershed Restoration and Protection Strategies, or RAPS. There's another one of those going on in the Upper Mississippi River Sartell Watershed, a RAPS there, which again is the Watershed Restoration and Protection Strategies. The Sock River Watershed is also working on a RAPS, and the North Fork Crow River is finishing up a RAPS, and then the Sock River watershed is also working on what's called a one watershed one plan to try to tie all of the different water planning efforts together to try to make it more simplistic and prioritize within those watersheds what work will be done to restore or maintain water quality. The North Fork Crow River watershed has already completed their one watershed one plan and that project is underway as far as prioritizing what to spend money on and where those priorities should be met. And the reason I bring this up is because there's plenty of opportunity as a citizen or interested individual to get involved with those activities. So you can contact the, the project leaders or you can contact our office and we can get you in touch with the right people. This also leads into an objective that the DNR has been working on in connecting our rivers. And they're working very hard on removing dams or obstructions in the rivers. And this is all part of the stream ecology unit. And the Stearns County SWCD, or the Soil and Water Conservation District, has partnered with um, some of these projects and the DNR on these projects. One most recently was along the Sock River or across the Sock River in St. Cloud near Whitney Park. And that dam was removed and we restored connection uh, to get the river free flowing and allow fish movement up and downstream. It helps with the, the mussels that um, occupy the stream and also provides better sediment movement throughout the system. So if you know of an obstruction, whether it's a, a raised or perched culvert or a dam or something like that in a waterway near you and are interested in working with us on that, we can bring that up and, and get it uh, on the list and see how it ranks out priority-wise and how we can assist technically as well as financially. Again, this is Greg Berg with the Conservation Office out of Weight Park and working remotely as we talked about giving you the weekly conservation update. Take care, everybody.